Hi guys, it's Gary from G&G Electronics. Uh, this video I'm going to teach you guys how to build a reversing relay out of an RB5 Electronics uh, relay board. Uh, some of these can be used for real old communications with say police departments and stuff like that on your you know burglar alarm panels fire alarm panels where you wanted your telephone lines to reverse um, the other popular thing that these are used for is reversing the power on low voltage smoke detectors so that all, all of the sounders sound at once in a fire alarm event um, there's uh, smoke detectors out there that need reverse polarity to, to uh, turn on the sounders. Also there are uh, cameras out there, uh, PTZ cameras that require a reverse of uh, polarity to uh, reverse the motors in it so that the, you know, the, the uh, PTZ goes back and forth. So um, I'm gonna just this box out of the way and then hopefully you can see down here on the board um, normally open, normally closed, common and positive on this side. And this side over here is normally open, normally closed, common and negative. What we're going to do is we're going to jump from the normally open over to the normally common, I mean normally closed, sorry, and go from the normally open to the normally closed on this side. This positive and negative is going to be your input voltage that would come from say um, the fire alarm panel, bird alarm panel, when the alarm panel goes into alarm this is where you want to put your bell circuit on the, both the commons that is going to be continuous power to power say the camera, power the smoke detectors or so on and so forth and the polarity does not matter on these and then what you would do is say your smoke detectors or your cameras would be powered off just this side, the normally open and normally closed. What happens is, is when the fire alarm panel trips, it energizes the relay where you have the power input going into the commons, it flips them on both sides. What I'm going to do is when I wire this, this is going to have a 9 volt battery on it and I'll show you on a meter what happens. So let me get the wiring on it and then uh, I'll put the meter in view. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go from normally open over to the normally closed. So I just jumped from normally open to normally closed. Now I'm going to jump back from this side, from the normally open to normally closed. Okay. Now I'm going to attach the trip from let's let's just say it's a fire alarm panel actually it's just a 12 volt power supply so I put that into the positive and this goes into the negative so again the positive and negative input of the board is the trip from the alarm panel. Now on the common, uh, let's see, I'm going to use a, a battery clip here and a 9 volt battery. And again, the, the polarity does not matter on your commons because it's just, it's just going to flip. So I'm gonna put this over here on the common side. And let me apply my battery. Now when I apply the battery, the relay is not going to trip because this is just the supply voltage. This is the activation voltage over here on the positive and negative. The battery is just on the commons. Now let me get my meter into view here. Okay. So let me 
just try to position this so you guys can see this. Alright, so now what I'll do is I'm just gonna attach I'm gonna attach my meter right to the board. There. And let's see here. Okay. So there's the supply voltage coming from from the uh, the battery. And if you see if I disconnect the battery, you lose the voltage. I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit. So here's my supply voltage. Now, what's going to happen is as soon as I say, say that the alarm panel, the fire alarm trips, one of the smoke detectors trips, it trips the panel. And if you've seen down here, I don't know if you heard the relay, but now you got reverse voltage. Now I'll remove the voltage. And there we go, the polarity comes back. Again, apply, apply voltage to the board. Reverses the voltage. I'll take the power off the board. And the voltage goes back. Again, you can use this for uh, fire alarm. Um, polarity reversals on smoke detectors. Reversing phone line systems, which I, I'm pretty sure that's a thing of the past, but that's what we used to use these for a lot is uh, phone line reversals that went into police stations and smoke detector reversals. And now I'm hearing that there are some PTZs out there that require a uh, separate board to reverse the polarity for PTZs to work. And there's several applications that you can use for it, but that is how you build a reversing relay out of a Ultronics RB5 relay board. Thanks for watching. Um, any questions, comments, uh, just leave them down below. And if you'd like to get a hold of me, I will leave my email address um, just below the video. Thanks.